glad I wore this sweater. It's good. There's not enough sweaters in guitar videos these days, right? I don't know. Uh, we're going to talk really quickly about integrating chords into your solo. I chose a very, uh, well, I chose a one chord vamp because, well, it's Wednesday. Um, but I thought this would be kind of an easy thing to do without getting too deep into a bunch of crazy changes because uh, frankly, I'm just not that good at that. So anyhow, what are we doing? We're thinking A minor. So I'm thinking um, all the different minor possibilities, melodic minor, uh, chromatic, all these different options. But what we want to do is think about how we can put in uh, some chords into our phrases. So a good way to start is just thinking about a little bit of contrast. Play a single note line or two, throw a chord in. Play a single note line or two, throw a chord in. But in order to make it interesting, we don't really want to just play like an A minor chord. I mean, we can, that's fine, but there's all these different ways to voice what could theoretically be an A minor just by building a couple three note chords off of these different scales that we just kind of briefly just uh, talked about. So how about this shape, right? This one, you could think of this as almost like a Phrygian shape, right? Or like a Lydian, uh, Lydian shape, depending on where you put your root. If you put B, it's like a B Phrygian chord, right? But in A, it's a nice kind of A minor sound, right? So this could be a chord. It actually could be like, technically like a Dorian chord. It has a major six in there, right? It could also be a melodic minor sounding chord too. Right? A minor six. The nine at the top, right? So how, how do we throw that in somewhere in our little phrase? Well, let's think of that as our, our shape, right? And I, I literally just sort of like, well, I mean, I know this shape, but I plucked it out. It's the third, the five, the six. So what am I doing? I'm using that chord as kind of like a period at the end of each sentence, right? Here's a sentence. Period. Period. Okay, so now we, I had a couple periods. So a few periods, that would be an ellipsis, right? So what was that other shape I played? This is cool. Similar style. It's got a six in it, right? Six, seven, three. That's a cool voicing. I think I may have stole that from, I don't know, probably Wayne Krantz. <laughs> We've been talking about him a lot today. Um, but again, there's another cool shape. That could be a cool shape. There's a shape. These fourths are really fun. in accordance to the scale very easily if you focus on the B string, right? So here's our shape. Now I'm targeting the B string as kind of like the leading melodic part of what we're doing here. So, so it's going to be this. Old Dorian scale, but with the fourths in there. But you can use those chords as like little periods. Or you could reverse it. You could start with a chord in the solo. One, two, three. Two note chords are great too. Bye. 
that's always a fun thing. So you can take a chord, like those fourths, and kind of start clustering them together. So the top note stays the same. That changed that moves, but now maybe we want to pivot in a different way, so. Get that kind of dissonance. Just briefly. We don't want to hang there too long, right? You know, whatever you want to do. Um, but kind of think of it in terms of like you're writing a sentence or a paragraph or something, and at the end of each sentence of single notes, you throw a chord, which is your period. Or you can flip it. The chords can be the majority of the, of the words, and then the period or the exclamation point can be the single note line, right? Um, I think uh, a good solo whether or not what you just heard was considered a good solo, you know, the jury is out. But uh, any great solo, you should, have, you should try to have some kind of contrast in your phrases. And I think using chords within your solos, especially if you're playing any kind of groove music or jazz music or even rock music, doesn't matter, um, just gives, a, gives it a little bit of extra flavor and breaks it up from the single note nature that we would mostly expect from a guitar solo, right? It doesn't have to just be single notes. You can get get those chords in there and get some nice rhythm going with those. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get another one of these. Peace. Mm -hmm. 